Okay, so today we're going to be making um, a simple pitch shifter and then we're going to add um, this pitch shifter in a reverb um, effect and then probably patch up some oscillators and make some weird blip blop noises. So to start uh, doing this um, simple pitch shifter, I'm going to use a microphone that I've plugged into my Axolotty. So I'm going to get my audio in signal so it's on my left channel and then this is going to go into an object which is a delay so it's actually a delay right object so there are different objects this is a delay right with power out so it actually gives the size of the um, of the delay so then this delayed signal which is called delay one, um, is going to be read by an object called pitch shifter. Uh, it's actually called pitch shifter HQ, made by SSS. So this is going to be my read object, and the delay name of the sound, or the um, delay being read, is called delay underscore one. So this is the name of the object, if I called this... pop, I'll put the delay name here, pop. So this is then the delay minimum length. <clears throat> so what I put it up to the maximum often. Um, you can play around with these. This green um, output goes into the sample length because it's what it gives. And then um, my output I'm going to put to audio out. Let's put it into a mixer. Um, and then the mixer to an audio out. So I then need to plug in a few dials for my pitch shifter here. So the dials I'm going to use are going to be bipolar, so dial, control dial, Bipolar or polar? So bipolar for semitones, because it's got plus and minus, harmony shift and ratio shift. Um, and then the first one is length. That is actually a positive um, information. Ooh. So I can actually use a bipolar and just only use a positive information. So for the length, I'm going to well, read the whole buffer. The buffer, I'm going to put it around 170 milliseconds. Um, this semitone input will be the pitch of my output. And then harmony shift and ratio shift. Um, I'm going to leave harmony shift as it is and I can play around with ratio shift. We'll see what it does. So this is actually it. A uh, very simple object. Let's see what happens. So this is me in the microphone <clears throat> and in the normal microphone too. So if I'm going to play around with this, what happens? Oh, as you can hear, it goes up and down. Oh. So let's get a bit louder. Oh. Hello. 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 So this is actually in semitones. If I put it to 12. Oh. 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 Um. So let's play around with, um, uh, with a ratio shift. Uh, so as you see, it changes the pitch to... So I've worked out that on 8, so I'm getting a, a, a real um, semitone um, pitch adjustment here. Oh. So this is actually all there is up to it so you can do lots of things with pitch shifters you, know, you can of course pitch sounds you can modulate this semitone you can just modulate it a tiny bit and do some kind of vibrate v vibrato um, but what we're going to do now is plug this into a reverb and see how fun it can be to hear a sound pitch down when it goes into a reverb because it's actually one of the new crazes everybody has is using um, pitch down reverb. 
and actually the Korg Mini Log XD has it as one of its effects. So um, to hear that the um, the effect, I'm I'm going to put a mixer. This is not what I wanted to duplicate. I'm going to duplicate the mixer here and have my dry signal coming straight into this too. Dook. And then have the reverb signal coming into... Maybe I should make this stereo, but... Doom, doom, doom. Okay, and then the dry signal here. So, as reverb, I used the FX uh, rings reverb, so it's the, the reverb in the rings by um, Mutable Instruments, as it's open source. Um, so I just looked for reverb, and uh, well, there it was, and there's one with um, inputs too. I think it's maybe a bit different, but um, they're nice reverbs anyway. So let's see what happens now if I go live. Hey, hey, hey. So, um, for my reverb, I need to put uh, a mount. I'm going to put it, because this is wet-dry kind of dial. And I want only wet information here. And for the... Um, to have reverb sound, I need to put gain, a bit of diffusion, and some time. Hey! And then I can put my dry signal is on what one. So I've got my dry signal coming through. And this is my reverb signal. Hey! So actually it's minus, if I put it down an octave, it's quite nice. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, don't do it. So of course this is quite extreme and not very nice on a voice. So to make things fun, let's, um, let's make a blip blop uh, patch out of this, because, well, we all like blip blop patches. So, to make uh, blip blops, I love utilizing using oscillator sign. Sign. So, if you know me already, I'm a big fan of cross modulating um, these two oscillators. So, uh, I'm going to make this quite random and I'm going to use just a straight um, clock. So, as a clock, I'm going to use an LFO square. This will give me a pulse, and I want some randomness of the um, prob probability of this um, clock of being ignored or not. So I'm going to use this community object called probability something bang in. So this is my regular clock, and then this will have a dial, a positive dial which will give me my percentage of these bang going through through the object. So this is going to go into um, another random object. So if we look at random, there's uniform trigger. So this will give me um, any bipolar signal as soon as I give it a bang. So let's... Um, make a few of these because I'm going to ask for lots of randomness and do this twice because I've got two chains um, so these are all bipolar um, I might be, yes for a VCA I'm going to be using um, positive so I'll, I'll be converting it um, so these can can affect, for example, the pitch, and then it's going to go into an envelope. So maybe the decay of this envelope can also have some randomness. So let's get an envelope, just a simple delay with a modulation input. Um, one for each. And these will be triggered by the output here of my probability object. Um, these are going to control VCAs. And then my randomness 
to go into this um, decay to control, for example, the um, decay or the pitch, because I'm going to do pitch decay and then um, another VCA, which will be the cross modulation uh, signal. So um, I'm going to use a um, multiply object and a plus object. And that way I'll have um, with two dials. So it has to be for the pitch, it will be bipolar for the um, plus, and it will be positive for the um, multiplier. So this random information goes into the multiplier. This is where I choose how much of the random randomness I need. And then this is a, acts as an offset bipolar signal. So this will be my first pitch. And then I'm going to use the same knobs, but a different random signal for the bottom pitch. So that's for the pitch. I need to do the same thing for the DK. So this different randomness, different randomness, and goes into the same double knob. Um, so DK is bipolar 2, so it's the same as for the pitch. This goes into DK. Decay, and then finally, uh, this VCA will come out into the mixer and everything. Um, I've got a second VCA which will be a different kind of randomness. I don't actually need. I could have used this or or a multiplier. It all gives different results. This is just, I don't know. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. Put some uh, an offset and... Uh, and an att attenuator. So it's these. Um, this goes here. So th as this is a VCA, my dial will only be um, polar, positive, whatever. The P1. And this will be random information from here. So this will then go into the phase input here, and then this one comes up to this phase input. And I think everything should be wired up. Uh, for the moment, my outputs here are not wired up. So to make, as you can see, I've made two lines, and I want to keep some kind of stereo funness. So I'm going to duplicate um, this object here, or this um, ensemble. Get rid of the audio in, because we won't be using the microphone anymore. And uh, just multiply, actually, all this. Let's use the same pitch for both... Um, and then one will come out of this VCA, and then this one will go into here. So it's pop and pop underscore, because let's call it pop two. Oh, not 22, two, and then change this one. Oh, what have I done? Pop two. So this is going into here, into the reverb. So here we can also choose to put a bit of dry signal into the reverb if we want dry signal as well into the reverb which we will, uh, well, I think. And then this goes into the reverb, and then here we've got the dry signals. Um, this should be lower so that we don't have too many. Try and always have red objects following the path. Don't. There's one moment here where my red um, object is sending information upwards. It's from this VCA here, and I have to... There's no other way. It's a feedback loop. So um, I could, but all the others make sure they're always going down somehow. Um, so this will be my dry signal in my final output. 
So if we test this, um, it should probably work. So my probability of the uh, gate is at zero. So I'm going to send a few. So let's give uh, a bit of pitch um, probability, I mean randomness. So as you can see, it's very hot and warm. Um, I'm going to, before going any further, um, half my signals, because they are very hot. Um, coming out of this... Um, I should actually... I'm going to halve them when they come out of the oscillator. And... Um, before they go into the first VCA, that way even the FM will be a kind of smoother... Um, you can... I mean, you can put just attenuators, but... I found that halving the signal makes it actually more or less perfect. So here it's much less grainier. Um, as you can hear, I've got the reverb. Let's just get rid of the clean signal. This is my reverb with a bit of clean, clean signal in the reverb. This is only the pitch signal. So you can put the original into the reverb too. Okay, so you, as you can hear, the extreme pitching isn't very pleasant, but it's not that bad. I quite like um, the, the slowing it down is always, you know, going down. And you're not actually slowing it down, you're just pitching it down. So then I can... Um, let's put a bit of randomness into the decay make it a bit shorter get this a bit higher and let's put some dry signal because it's just reverb isn't very nice especially when it's 12 semitones lower so you'll have a bit of latency um, with this um, with a pitch shifter object it's you, you, you can have fun with it. it actually, it's, it's sometimes interesting and you can't really get rid of it, so what you have to do with it. Um, and then let's put some FM. And there you are. Uh, blippy block with a uh, fun reverb that you can adjust to taste. modulate of course this pitch shifting or you can um, actually you can modulate it by the same pitch as here which I don't know at all what it will give but the whole fun thing over this is testing so here we go so that means yeah can be fun So there, you go. there we go. Um, hope you understood it and, and found it interesting. And I hope you have fun making your own patches, because that's the whole point. Voila!